Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Honda Accord EX. Okay, but before we do that real quick, I just want to say if you find this content, this building price review helpful or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate it. All right, so for 2018, the Honda Accord is actually all new, and it's looking pretty sporty. It look, and especially right here, it's looking pretty sporty. All right, I just did the Toyota Camry uh, the other day. I'm going to put a link up, and it is super sporty as well. Now, there are several trim levels of the Honda Accord, but here's here's what I think. Before we get into this review, because what we're going to do is, let me explain how this works if you haven't been on any of my reviews. So we've got this whole page, and this whole page, let's call it the overview page. This overview page is going to give us this deep learning and understanding about this brand new Honda Accord. We're going to learn all the things, all the, the gallery, right? We can learn about the exterior, the interior features, and we'll check out some models and specs and then we'll build and price our EX. I think the EX is the best of the bunch, okay? Um, because like the Sport, it comes with a power driver seat and touchscreen and Apple CarPlay and all that, and it adds a bunch of tech, but it doesn't cost as much as the, the one tier above it, and, and it has everything you need. And that's why I think the EX is the best one. So we're going to go over the whole car. Then we're going to do the build and price. I'm going to download the, the build of that, right? Because you can usually download. I think you can on the Honda website. And then I'm going to put the link in the description below. So if you like the spec on this car that I'm doing, then you can easily access it, okay? You won't have to go back and go through the whole video again. You can just download the PDF. All right, so let's take a look. It says the best reasons to choose the Accord. Um, they've got movies. We're not going to play that. It says the most impressive Honda ever. Explore the innovative features. They've done a lot. The car is redesigned. We're going to see some of the features as we scroll down. Uh, it beats the Camry. That's funny. I just mentioned the Camry. So you can go take a look at that. And then meet the Accord family, and then that's all the all the trim levels. And we're going to see the trim levels when we get over to the build and price review. So hold on to that towards, you know, down the road here. All right, so it says, the art of evolution. Explore the exterior. So you can click this tag, but I'm going to click this tag because it's going to take us through some exterior features of the Honda. Let me see if I can come up a little bit better. There we go. Can we see all that? I think so. Uh, so a strong stance. It says uh, the bold exterior is the result of thoughtful engineering expressed through strong character lines. LED low beam lights. That's down here. Uh, headlights. Sorry. LED low beam headlights <laughs> with auto on off and LED fog lights. Right. The fog lights are down there. And what do we got here? Intelligent design. The front end is as as is as innovative as it is distinctive with active grill shutters. That means that the grill, right, the slats where all the air comes in to help cool the engine, when they mean by active, they mean that those will open and close to control airflow, aerodynamics, etc., etc. Well, I'm even saying I wasn't even looking at that. Aerodynamics, uh, airflow, even fuel efficiency, right? Uh, what do they have next here? Side profile uh, with a muscular fast back, right? That's kind of got the hunch back there uh design the 2018 accord offers passengers head turning style with ample space and from the three-quarter view they say the performance inspired exterior holds a wide stance with strong lines i've seen these new ones on the road and they do look good especially compared to the way the honda accord looked of old let's see if we can get a better look there okay that's as high as it goes um the LED tail lights complement the refine the refined design with integrated chrome exhaust finishers. Right? They don't call them tips anymore. They just say finishers. The dual outlet e exhaust for a true sports look. Right? Because it's not a true sports exhaust. It's not a true dual exhaust. It's just a true. It's just a look. But it looks good. Uh, what about colors? What do we have for colors? Lots of colors. Surely these co each all of these colors aren't available on all the trim levels. I know how Hondas go, and I think Toyotas are the same way. It, it's not every color for every trim level, like maybe some of the German models are like that. Um, so we've got a couple shades of white, right, a platinum. right? You've got a platinum white, and then you've got a white orchid, and then a lunar silver. All these colors are nice. Modern steel, uh, crystal black pearl, that may, uh, obsidian blue pearl still night pearl 
I think I've seen that color on the road. It's kind of popular. The San Marino red, they showed that in the uh, their little video clip above, or or the radiant red, and then Champagne Frost Pearl, like that a lot, and the Kona Coffee, not bad either. I normally don't get on the browns, but that's not bad looking. Let's check out the wheels. What do we got for wheels? They got options. 17-inch alloy wheels. That comes standard on the LX. Um, clean, modern design. Then you've got, these are the hybrid alloy wheels. Okay, they're 17 inches as well. Then these wheels on the EX and the EXL, these are also 17 inch, uh, but they get a different design and they are pretty attractive. Then what do you have here? Sport alloy wheel, 19 inch wheel. That's nice. Don't know if we could option for the 19 inch wheel, but if we can, boy, that sure would be nice. The touring alloy wheel. Okay, so maybe we can do the touring. I don't know. 19 inch, it's the available. Uh, and that's nice. And then what do we have here? Wheel accessories. The 19-inch black alloy wheel. This is a alloy wheel accessory. It is nice. Or you can do it in chrome. Okay. I like it. Um, so accessories for the Honda Accord. Exterior accessories anyway. They got a deck lid spoiler. Uh, the rear trim. Give your Accord subtle trim with the rear trim accessory. I guess that's down here. It looks a little more chromey right there. I'm thinking that might be it. I'm not positive. Uh, an updated front grill. Uh, front grill, uh, a sporty edge, chrome finish, black chrome, aggressive. Okay. Uh, front fender emblem. That looks sporty. Very European. And then a puddle light right under your door. Right when you open your door, it'll put a light down there. That's nice. I like that. Puddle lights cool. Um, what about inside an icon? The quiet cabin features high quality soft touch materials and an expansive front view for an exciting combination of elegance and convenience. Let's explore the interior. So the cabin, which seems like a pretty nice place to be. Um, they talk about quality control with ergonomic design. This is where ergonomic design meets soft touch. That's the new goat. That's the new word of the day with auto manufacturers these days. Everything is a soft touch material. I think the hard old plastic that was in cars is a day is a thing of the past because it makes it seem um, low low grade. You know, just having soft touch feet uh, finishes on the dash and, and stuff like that where your elbows are it it, 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 it makes a difference it really really does uh, and they have a leather wrapped steering wheel and everything so good deal there uh, fully customizable 7 inch driver interface I love the whole LCD TFT digital display screens that new cars are doing that you can reconfigure because I love digital I love digital speedometers and heads up displays and all that so that's really cool uh, for me, I would be all over that. Uh, the lap of luxury. So you can get leather trim seating surfaces. I don't know if that's available on the EX. We're going to check it out. Um, and then inside perspective. The concert hall inspired cabin allows for an uninterrupted view while active noise cancellation contributes to an incredibly quiet interior. Uh, what do we have for comfort? Let's go to comfort. What do they have? Um... It delivers style and space for individual driver and passengers alike. It looks pretty nice back there. It's upscale. Look at the wood. I love the whole dark carpet. I'm not, usually not a fan of light interiors, but this particular picture, I like the dark color um, carpets with the light seats and the wood. I just, it's a good look. I like that look. Um, let's see. Let's see if we press this. So heated and ventilated seating. Let's press this. What does it do? Okay, so it just shows hot to cool. Uh, did that show hot for the front seat for the okay so the heating is for everybody except for this guy who has to sit in the middle if you have a fifth passenger but then when you do cooling right there you go it just goes to the two front seats right the rear seats don't get any cooling what do we have over here personalized seating with available 12-way power adjustability and two savable positions no other car in its class offers more ways to adjust your seat with ease all right, that's a nice looking seat too. That's the fit and finish looks really high end. Uh, let's click this and see what it does. Okay. Oh, and then you've got the driver selectable memories up on the door panel. Not unlike Mercedes Benz, they do that uh, in some of their models. Not every one of them. Uh, climate perfection. Oh, you got a sync button so you can sync both sides very easily. I love that sync button. 
dual zone auto climate control uh, keeps temperature ideal da 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 color changing backlit uh, knobs add sophistication that's really cool look as it's getting cold it turns blue as you're warming up it turns red I like it uh, tell us about the convenience what do we have EV mode kind of it's not applicable to us but we're here so we'll check it out uh, EV mode standard on hybrid models 10 speed automatic transmission standard on two two liter models so looks like the 10 speed transmission is what we're going to be looking at let's click this I didn't see what it did um, something probably between eco and sport perhaps um, I'm not sure <laughs> uh, you got to watch it so at the center the versatile center console storage compartment provides a secure space for your belongings while maintaining a clean aesthetic uh, what does it do show us the inside nice with a parcel tray up there mm-hmm uh, room for the road class leading trunk space right why did that go back to there don't know why let's try that again okay there we go um, 16.7 cubic feet right nice to have that little diagram there so at a glance you know it. you don't even have to read it uh, flexible seating 60 40 split down split fold down rear seats um, they're probably gonna show a fold it yep there it is all right and what do they have for interior accessories you got all season mats yeah you need that kind of stuff you've got the illuminated door sills I love illuminated door sills when you step whoops <laughs> let me get back here get back to where I was right here uh, when you step into the car and it's got these little illuminated door sills it says a court that's the kind of stuff I like we might find it optioned on ours uh, you got this parcel shelf up there and a cargo hook cool um, what do we have here next generation features so what do we have uh, the driving experience okay this is some good stuff here thrilling powertrains Accord offers three advanced powertrains including a 1.5 liter a 2 liter and the next generation two motor hybrid we I know that the EX probably comes with the 2 liter uh, but we'll check all the spec on that when we get over to the bill part so don't worry about that we're gonna check the spec um, agility and control Accord delivers safety and driver assistive technology standard with a seriously fun, refined, and fuel-efficient driving uh, experience. And I love it in this red. That's definitely the sport. Looks good. Um, looks really good. Looks really good. Um, control the thrill. Uh, if you do it, the car has a six-speed manual. Uh, add to the thrill with available paddle shifters, a standard six-speed manual on sport modes, or deceleration selectors on hybrid models. Okay. Um, smooth and efficient. Adaptive damper system actively controls suspension action travel while wheel resonators help minimize road noise for a refined driving experience. What's this with a smart entry? Keyless entry, right? Leave the key fob in your pocket. Smart entry, push button start, walk away, auto lock. Shaves you a step once you've arrived. Good deal. Oh, tech. What's up with the tech? Um, energy management system. This looks like the hybrid deal. Yeah, that's for the hybrid. That's a whole bunch going on there. Um, heads up display. Everybody's starting to do it. Boy, everybody's in the game now. Technology must be getting cheap because everyone's doing it. Heads up display. Turn by turn directions and everything. Phone calls, you name it. Look at how they have their uh, infotainment system. Satellink linked navigation. That's tight. I like it. 3D renderings. The whole nine. Uh, multi-angle awareness. The multi-angle rear view camera shows more of what's behind you. An available cross traffic monitor alerts you to vehicles on either side like when you're backing out at the grocery store or something uh, blind spot love that stuff you gotta have that tech it's standard on the EX right which is what we're looking at you can see down here it tells you what it's standard on that's nice that they do that do they do it on every one of them I guess where it's applicable anyway standard auto high beam headlights automatically dim when other vehicles are detected because it's got a camera or something paying attention to the road and the LED low beam headlights right and and they are they're auto on off light the road ahead uh, connected audio what's what's the tech tech's important uh, Apple CarPlay right so what did it say available 8 inch so that's an option that's not standard uh, available 8 inch display audio touchscreen and 10 speaker premium auto system uh, audio system help make every moment a beauty for the senses so Apple CarPlay right and Android Auto right and wireless phone charger good deal Honda link stay connected with Honda link app and turn your engine 
with remote start, all right, and turn on your engine with remote start, lock, or unlock. All right, standard stuff. Everybody's kind of doing it these days. Uh, and in your car, make it a mobile hotspot, right? And is that an available system? Enjoy wireless streaming capabilities, including audio system updates by turning your Accord into a mobile hotspot with an available, right? Available means it's an option, but it's standard on the Touring. Honda Sensing Standard, right? Yeah, I did the Honda uh, CRV, and so I kind of was into this. Uh, this is standard equipment stuff, collision mitigation. Uh, every Accord comes with this road departure mitigation, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist, traffic sign recognition, right? A lot of tech there. So let's look at some of these, right? Uh, collision mitigation helps break the vehicle when it senses an otherwise unavoidable collision with a vehicle detected in front of you. We won't watch the movie because it'll take too long. Uh, this road departure mitigation, a small camera can see road markers, alert you if you're about to leave the road, and take action to help keep you from doing so. Adaptive cruise control, on the other hand, uh, helps you maintain a set, a set following interval on the highway. So you don't have to manually change your speed. Good deal. Lane keep assist. If your vehicle begins to stray from the center of a detected lane without signaling, the steering wheel adjusts. That means it's active. It'll do it on its own to help bring you back into the lane. I thought that was called yaw control, but maybe not. Traffic sign recognition. Um, uses a small camera, a lot of cameras, to recognize and help notify you of speed limit signs with visual with a visual icon that's really awesome I love that stuff all right so that was Honda sensing uh, and then we kind of already went through the accessories and so here we are down at the specs right we're down at the models and the specs right so we can see the LX and while we are only gonna build out the EX on this build let's at least for other people who are looking at this and i can see that the ex actually only comes with the 1.5 and it doesn't have an option for the two liter right so you can 1.5 this or hybrid this the exl you can 1.5 it two liter it or hybrid it you see how they have that there honda does their sites really clean so like i said i'm not going to build out each one of these but we can at least take a look at the highlights of say the lx let's take a look at the highlights of the lx really fast Right, because it, that's all it is. Uh, Honda Sensing, we know that's standard. Dual zone climate control. I'm not going to read every one of them, just maybe the bold ones. Uh, push button start, multi angle rear view camera. It's got the 1.8 liter powertrain. I'm going to find out how much horsepower that makes and at what RPM. I'm going to find out how much torque that makes and at what RPM because it's relevant. Um, so that's the LX and the hybrid features. All right. Um, Here's, oh, we don't look, look at that. Let's go to hybrid. What does the hybrid have? Honda, same things, right? Yeah, LX and hybrid features. Duh, now I get it. Sport, that's not what we wanted to do. Sport, uh, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, 12-way power driver's seat, 19-inch alloy wheels. And standard is the 1.5 engine, but you can option it with other stuff. So... 180 watt stereo system, good stuff. So with this stuff being here, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto must not be standard on those on the other two models, right? Must not be standard. Uh, what about the EX, the one we're looking at? One, so it's going to have all those other features: one touch moon roof, heated front seats, eight inch display, the blind spot information system. That's awesome. Apple CarPlay, all that good stuff. Boom, good deal. And then last but not least, we just got to hit this tag over here. Let's see this bad boy. It has all of those other things plus the leather. Okay, so we can't, I don't know if we can option for leather. We'll see. Uh, driver seat memory, available Honda satellite. So you still got an option for that satellite link navigation. But you do get the, the really chunky 450 watt premium audio system with the 10 speaker. And then you have your options of, of powertrains too. So they throw the whole kitchen sink at you on that. So... For this car, let's build this car. Do they show us? What I really want to check out was I want to check out the standard uh, compare models and specs. Real quick, I want to look at the specs of the EX. No, with the EX. Let's just take out the Sport. This, 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 and the Touring. I didn't see the Touring. Maybe it was the other direction. Maybe we'll have to go back and take one look real quick and see if we saw the Touring. I'm sorry about that. All right, so real quick on the specs. It's turbocharged, 
makes a because it tells us the boost. The thing is running some big boost to make that to make that power makes 192 horsepower, which is respectable at 5,500 RPMs. Here's the kicker: it's almost making 200 pound feet of torque, which is good. It's good, and here's where it gets even better: it's making that basically off idle at 600 it's 1600 rpms and it's going to hold that torque all the way to 5000 rpms this car is going to feel strong that's what that means that's going to feel strong uh the two liter is not an option the hybrid there are some hybrid specs um we don't really want to i just kind of want to find out about the engine stuff because we already know what the standard features are already so let me go over one more. Yeah, there is a touring. There it is. My apologies. So the touring shows what else above the EXL. The head-up display. Aha! Head-up display, ventilated front seats, uh, wireless phone charger, body-colored parking sensors, front and rear, and then all these other things, and then your choice of powertrains, whatever you want. Here's the deal. I think the EX, I'm building the EX because I think it's the perfect balance for Honda Accord if you want new car but you still need to think about the dollars and the cents I think the EX is the best one and that's why we're gonna build it as far as that's concerned but if you have the money to spend heck this car is only thirty five thousand dollars out the door and easily has every bit of options of fifty uh, fifty sixty or seventy thousand dollar Mercedes or BMW has so if you have the $35,000, grab the Touring. If you've got a balance new car with other things like financial, you know, your budget and all that, the EX is the way to go. You're not going to feel like you're, like you're left out. So let's build it. Starts at $27,470. Um, I don't want the Eco. I don't want the Eco. We're going to go with that 1.5. That motor looks strong to me. I like that motor. Let's take a look at the interior really quick. Okay, uh, colors, colors. Here's oh, looks like at this spec level, you got quite a few colors. I'm gonna say, let's see what this champagne frost looks like. I think I like the champagne frost. If I was going for the sport, I might go radiant red. Well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's let's take a look at this radiant red. Maybe I'm feeling sporty. Maybe I'm feeling sporty because I'm thinking about those aftermarket wheels I saw. But maybe a modern silver, because those we oh you can get them in a light color. Let's do let's stick with the champagne frost then. That's right. They offered those aftermarket wheels. I don't remember if you remember them, and you can get them in black or you can get them in this light chrome finish. So we're gonna go. I don't want to do the 360. That'll take too long. I really wanted a side profile, but I don't want to mess with it. Champagne frost. We're gonna go with that. Uh, interior color. I guess you get ivory. It's either that or nothing. You don't get the car then. Honda sensing is standard. The wheels, okay, so we got options. Wow, those wheels are expensive, but you know what? I don't care because I'm a wheel guy. I'm a car guy. I like the wheels. Nobody else's car is going to look like that because you can be sure most Honda owners aren't going to pull the trigger. If you want to be sporty spice on yours, get the wheels. Get the wheels. Exterior accessories. Oh, they got kit too. Body side molding. Yes, yes. Tell us about it. Sorry. Tell us about it. Uh, body side molding extension. Oh, that's the... But there's more to it than just good looks. It ideally positions where the side panel extends out the most in order to help protect the... Uh, maybe I don't like those moldings. I was thinking something else. Okay, never mind. I don't want those moldings. I do want the deck lid spoiler, though. Let's take a look at that photo. I do want that. Right? Get a little spoiler action going back there. Right? That's available on everybody. Uh, the door visors, no. The front fender emblems, yeah, I want mine in s silver, though. And they're just 50 bucks. The moonroof visor, no, I don't want that. Interior accessories, got to have all-season mats. What's the home link deal for 365 for the rearview mirror? What, what is that all about? Uh, reduced glare, lightens nighttime strain, automatically adjusts for light conditions, replaces a standard rearview mirror, includes home link wireless control system that can be programmed to open garage. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Want to open my garage door? Uh, door panel protector. Oh, what's that? That sounds awesome. Yeah, because door panels get beat up right there because everybody puts their feet there. Yes. Wow, somebody's thinking Honda. Electronic accessories, parking sensors, puddle. I like that puddle light. Wireless phone charger, yes. 
USBs, come on, yeah, that should be standard anyway. Parking sensors, I'm going to want that too. Hey, you know what, the car, it, it, it's $32,000, but you know what, it's 2018. That's a lot of car for $32,000. It's a lot of car. A lot of car that you can drive around in and don't feel like, you know, you won't feel like you pull up next to a nice car. You won't feel like, oh, man, my car is kind of, you know, weak. Not in this. This is a lot of car for the money, and they're good looking. And now with the with the wheels and everything, I've got it looking right. This car is right. Um, let's go to the summary. Let's go to the summary. Uh, let's go up. Let's go up. Can we can we save the build? Doesn't look like we can save the build. Okay, Honda was like that. So car started off. So just pay attention. Car started off twenty seven thousand, right? Um, Nineteen inch wheels, three grand. Deck lid spoiler, three and a half. The fender emblems. The all-season floor mats, the mirror with the home link, the door panel protectors, the parking sensor, puddle light, USB, wireless phone charger. Lots of the cool accessories that I think make this car really fantastic, and I love the paint color. 32000 670 out the door. Downloading the brochure isn't the same thing as downloading this whole build thing. So, thanks for watching. Sorry I can't download the build. Uh, usually manufacturers can. I got to try to remember that about Honda. Uh, but if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate it. Have a wonderful day.